Hi, I'm Gary Dean with Premium Custom Detailing in Tampa, Florida. I'm here today in Bradenton, Florida at the Premium Finish Care facility. I had a lot of questions about their products, namely the Ultima line, and I'm here today to test out some products firsthand. Uh, they asked me if I wanted to shoot videos because they had seen some of the videos that I'd done pre previously, and I said, sure. I'm going to use this product today on the tires, the trim, and what a lot of people don't, don't understand is the technology behind this product is phenomenal. You, you can actually use this on your wheels. So after you're done dressing your tires, you can coat the wheel with this product so that brake dust and other contaminants don't bond to the wheels. Uh, beyond that, this is a super ultra concentrated product. What that means is you can apply different layers depending on how much gloss or the lack thereof that you want on the surface. So you would apply thin coats until you achieve the gloss that you'd like. Uh, they recommend waiting 10 to 15 minutes between coats. This product dries on the surface to the touch. It doesn't sling off the tire onto the vehicle, leaving a greasy, nasty mess, none of that. It dries to the touch on the vehicle, you layer it to achieve your desired shine. It, it like fuses and bonds to the, the rubber. It like, it hydrates and stays there. It lasts a very long time. And I would say that depending on what kind of gloss you like, you could, uh, you could achieve a matte finish, a semi-gloss, up to a very high shine that's still not going to sling off your tire. I'm going to shake it up, apply a little bit to the applicator. It doesn't take much uh, as it's super co concentrated, but you want to make sure it's the applicator is primed. And we'll do a, a light coat. So now I've taped that. I'll pull the tape in a few minutes, but while, while we're rolling, I'm just gonna move right along to the trim while we're waiting on that initial coat to dry. This trim, if you get a close up of this, you can see what it looks like. I'll apply a little bit to the applicator. Now don't worry about getting this on paint. You, you shouldn't leave it on the paint, but it's not gonna hurt it if you put it on the, if you do get it on the paint, just wipe it off. So on the trim, we shouldn't need a second coat. You just put a nice and thin coat on it. On this trim, you shouldn't need a second coat. But see the difference? How nice and dark and deep and rich and black that trim is? That's how trim is supposed to look. Unfortunately, over time, it looks like this. So what we do to that is, we tire and trim guard plus it. Put a little bit more on the applicator apply it to the trim. These areas that are so severe like this generally will require a second coat. All right, we're back. I've actually done some of the trim. It's gonna take a couple of uh, applications, probably two or three. So I'm gonna pull the tape now so you can see the difference between one coat and no coats of the tire and trim guard plus on the tire. If you notice, this is the untreated side. So obviously before you apply this, you would clean the wheel and clean the tire. But this is the one coat. That's a very nice black coat. So if you wanted just a little bit more shine, add another coat. You don't even need to add any more to your applicator. Just go right in to uh, rubbing it into the wheels. And you'll see some of the, the residue, but you can wipe all that off. That's no problem. And there you have it. That's the Ultima Tire and Trim Guard Plus. Uh, I think it's awesome. When you go ahead and go any further than this, what you'll need to do is just apply another coat. Personally, I like a semi-gloss, just a little bit of a gloss, and just one more layer will do it. 
I gotta wait for this to cure and then I'll add another layer. 